So we have h of x is equal to 5x to the 1 4th power plus 7. And we want to find what is h prime of 16, or what is the derivative of this function when x is equal to 16. And like always, pause this video and see if you can figure it out on your own. All right, well let's just take the derivative of both sides of this. So on the left hand side, I'm going to have h prime of x. And on the right hand side, well the derivative of the right hand side, I can just take the derivative of 5x to the 1 4th and add that to the derivative with respect to x of 7. So the derivative of 5x to the 1 4th power, well, I can just apply the power rule here. You might say, wait, wait, there's a fractional exponent. And I would just say, well, that's okay. The power rule is very powerful. So we can multiply the 1 4th times the coefficient. So you have 5 times 1 4th x to the 1 4th minus 1 power. That's the derivative of 5x to the 1 4th power. And then we have plus 7. Now what's the derivative of 7 with respect to x. Well, 7 doesn't change with respect to x. The derivative of a constant, we've seen this multiple times, is just 0. So it's just plus 0. And now we just have to simplify this. So this is going to be h prime of x is equal to, is equal to 5 fourths x to the, what's 1 fourth minus 1? Well, that's negative 3 fourths. That's 1 fourth minus 4 fourths, or negative 3 fourths. So 5 fourths x to the negative 3 fourths plus 0, so we don't have to write that. And now let's see if we can evaluate this when x is equal to 16. So h prime of 16 is 5 fourths times 16 to the negative 3 fourths. Well, that's the same thing as 5 fourths times 1 over 16 to the 3 fourths, which is the same thing as 5 fourths times 1 over, let's see, I could view this as 16 to the 1 fourth, and then cubing that. And so what is this? 16 to the 1 fourth is 2, and then you cube 2, 2 to the third power is 8, so that's 8. So you have 5 fourths times 1 eighth, which is going to be equal to, 5 times 1 is 5, and then 4 times 8 is, 4 times 8 is 32. And we are done.